Hey there everyone, my name is Jay Tempest and I'd like to welcome you to my let's play of Resident Evil 2 DualShock version. But what's that you're asking? Didn't I already finish Resident Evil 2? You my friends would be absolutely correct and that's why we will be taking things up a notch this time around with Claire's story scenario B. So without further ado, let's get the zombie carnage a rolling. In the midst of the T-virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors, a woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G-virus. However, Ada! Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. A girl named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own. She came to uncover the mysterious circumstances of her brother's disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City. Finally here. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Uh, hello? <gasps> Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just don't come any closer. Are you listening? Can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. There. Buckle up. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you.
Still in one piece. <gasps> the axe gonna ram us! I'll meet you there. Okay. Hey there, everyone. As I've already said, my name's Jade, and let me be the first to welcome you back to the depths of Raccoon City. Just like I said I would in the at the oh hello. Just like I said at the end, or I would at the end of Leon's story, we are back with Resident Evil 2, du 2 DualShock version. And this time we are playing Claire's Scenario B story. Um, and unlike Leon, or unlike the Scenario A story, we will not be dwelling, uh, running around in Raccoon City too much, and we'll actually be going right to the police station, as you can see. Now, Claire has a few differences uh, in her, both her story and the way she plays, mainly because I believe, if I remember properly, her health is a little lower than Leon's. And she also gets a completely different setup of weapons. Of course, she gets the standard handgun as usual. But, you know, uh, the weapons will be very different. Uh, some weaker, some beyond stronger, but uh, beyond that, uh, it should be a different experience. It should be fun. Uh, I, no, I don't know what I'm going on about anymore. Sorry. <laughs> the point is, this is a whole new different story. Uh, same game, same idea. And we'll actually be collecting these handgun bullets. Now, I have a goal with this. Uh, if you watched up till the end of uh, my Let's Play of DualShock uh, Leon's A scenario, you will have noticed that I got a ranking of C. And I... That made me jump a bit. I forgot that happens. Um, you'll notice I got a ranking of C and that upset me a little bit. I thought I would have done better, so my goal for this, along with, you know, the the original idea, the same thing I did with Leon, I'll be showing you, you know, my tactics on doing everything, collecting all the important stuff, showing you where everything is, blah blah blah, but my main goal uh, here this time is going to be getting a better rank than C. Uh, a will be, will be what I want to go for, but uh, C won't be too bad, or uh, B won't be too bad. There you go. Here we are uh, introduced as to how the helicopter actually came to be where it was in uh, Leon's story or Scenario A story. I'm gonna keep re uh, referring it to Leon's story and Claire's story, even though either character can uh, experience the same thing depending on who you do first. Uh, so technically, I should be calling it Scenario A or Scenario B story, but because of the way we've done this, I'm going to be referring it to it as Leon's story or Claire's story. And here we see this man's been pecked to death, and he does indeed have the handgun bullets. So, as usual... Oh, wow. That hit me hard. As usual, um, there, are so many, there are so many handgun bullets to be found that I won't need to hold up on using everything. Uh, as you can see, we have the liquor in this room rather than zombies with Leon's story. <clears throat> there will be a few inconsistencies uh, between the two stories, unfortunately. But yes... As I was saying, <clears throat> I will be collecting all the handgun ammo, so I won't be saving it uh, up as much as I need to. I'll pretty much be playing the same way I was with Leon, so... Yeah. What can I say? It's the same game. Shut up. 
So if I remember properly, I believe this is the exact, the exact same secretary. I accidentally moved one of the stones, touched the statue, I heard, uh, or where he was getting the money to pay for them. I accidentally messed something up, the chief's a douche, blah, 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 blah. All right. <clears throat> so with that said, we'll go ahead and pick up this uh, ink ribbon. I'm going to try to save a little less this time around, only because I do want to get that better rank, as I was saying. <clears throat> it kind of upset me that I got C. I thought I would have gotten better. And I'm actually a lot a lot more surprised that it took me uh, three hours to beat the game. I can usually beat this game in about one hour, but I guess it's because I was commentating and doing it in a Let's Play way. That it uh, caused me to take a little longer. Which is alright. It's not horrible. Uh, but I, I am hoping to finish this a little faster. And that's, that's our main goal this time around. Is to get either an A or B ranking, hopefully. Uh, either way, I'm going to have to get the uh, the better rankings because I believe you need the better rankings in order to get unlock Hunk's mission. Uh, right down here, we have our grenade launcher. This will be the first of the different weapons Claire can actually get. Uh, it's very powerful, but not as effective as you would think it is. It's incredibly slow, and the aiming arc is weird at best. But um. But yes, yeah, so I believe I was saying that, yeah, we're going to try to finish this because I'm going to have to get the better rank to uh, unlock Hung's mission anyway, and I do plan on getting that uh, done in a Let's Play. <clears throat> I also plan on getting... Shut up, zombies. Why are there so many of you here? I also plan on getting uh, done the battle game mode, as I've been saying. The battle game mode is a lot easier to get. I believe all you have to do is... Oh, wow, I forgot about you guys. Now, I said it was unaffected, and it is because of the range, but for groups like- Oh, that's not how I meant for that to happen. For groups like that, it can be helpful. So we'll go ahead and take the unicorn medal. Take my handgun back out. Finish off the rest of these zombies. Uh, battle game's a lot easier to get because I believe all you have to do is beat scenario A and B of, uh, it's either of both characters, or you just have to, uh, do it once around. Either way, I'm gonna get it. I'm pretty sure all I have to do is beat the, the, the both scenarios for each character, so... But all that will be done off-camera. And here we go with the Unicorn Medal, just like we did with Leon's story. We'll go ahead and place it here and get ourselves the Precinct Key. As I said, there will be inconsistencies with the two stories. I don't know why there were two keys there. Or better yet, how uh, Claire was able to get one and Leon wasn't. Or how they were both to get able to get one or blah 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 blah. You get the point. It's just off. It shouldn't be working this way. If I remember properly, that door is locked as well. So we will actually be going around now. Now, I still remember, I still know enough to do the 100% playthrough, but I will say that I remember a bit less from the Scenario B game than I do from the Scenario A game. Uh, it shouldn't hinder my progress progression anyway. Uh, things should come back to me as, as the game moves along. But yes, that's just a pre-warning that some things I do remember less <clears throat> than others. <clears throat> so I might actually skip over maybe an herb here or there. But besides that, we should be fine. And yes, I know I, I uh, passed over a bunch of herbs and whatnot <clears throat> in the uh, in Leon's story, but that was more or less on purpose. I uh, I did mean to make a another video showcasing where all those herbs were and everything, uh, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. <clears throat> And the main reason I left them all behind was because I honestly didn't need them. You saw at the last battle, I had more than enough healing items. And I only ended up using two for that final battle. So, they really weren't needed at all. So, we'll go ahead and mix these two herbs. Head downstairs, and you know, all these areas should be pretty much uh, familiar to you guys. They pretty much are the same area, it's the same exact police station, but as you can tell, it's completely different pathing. <clears throat> so 
So we'll head in here, and this is where we'll end up getting the valve. Oh, wait. Not to be mistaken for the amazing video game company. No, this is where we'll be getting the valve this time to go ahead and put out that fire. Now, if I remember properly, I believe the safe... Am I hitting you? Please say I am. Yes, I am hitting you. You are getting dangerously close, zombie. Get away. Now, if I remember properly, uh, the passcode is the same in Scenario B for the safe as it is in uh, Scenario A. I could be mildly wrong, but we'll have to go in and see. Or, mildly wrong. No, I do not know how you can be mildly wrong. You're either wrong or you're not. I'm fairly sure it's the same. 2236, if I remember properly. So we'll go ahead and check that after we clear out this area. Oh, back up. Back off of me. Thank you. I know I'm a pretty, pretty lady, but you don't need to be all up on top of me. Thank you. And we'll just let this guy bite me in the leg so we can take him out without using ammo. Should have done that with Leon. I think I did. I don't quite remember. Well, uh, this room's nice and quiet. We'll go ahead and pick up these handgun ammo. If I remember properly, there's still a, uh, Still an herb hidden back here, but we don't need that right now. <clears throat> so we'll go around to the safe, and I believe it is it is still two two three six. Oh, I I done goofed. All right, two two three six. Yep. And we get acid rounds for the grenade launcher, and that's a uh, that's another constant in the Resident Evil. The grenade launchers actually have a. Uh, several ammos rather than just one specific set of ammo which can be uh very helpful at times uh each one does its own thing and there's incendiary rounds acid rounds and the normal rounds i believe are the only rounds in this game uh later games introduce the ice rounds and the biogas rounds but uh or the bow gas rounds rather but uh, i believe this one only has acid which is i believe the strongest of the uh the two, and then there's incendiary, which weakens zombies, and is uh, strong against the uh, plant monsters at the end, much like the flamethrower was. So we'll go ahead and we'll run past these birds because they are annoying. There's no reason to uh, try and fight them, and we'll go ahead and open this door. Head back outside, look at the time to make sure we're not overshooting ourselves. Nope, we're only at 17 minutes, so we are good. We'll go ahead and we'll head into this area and use our valve. Once again, we're looking at inconsistencies because if the story makes any sense, Leon should have been the one to do this, but, you know, if that was the case, then there would be less gameplay, but then again, you know, they could have come up with something uh, to make things make sense, but you know what? It's a game from the uh, 1992, 1993, I believe this was made, something around there. Uh, this has nothing to do with against the 90s, it's just how games were made back then. They didn't have to make sense as long as they were fun. And this game is indeed fun. And here we go, uh, here we have our next new cutscene. And thus we have our next new foe of this uh, little series, Mr. X. Much like ne much like the Nemesis Project in Resident Evil 3, and uh, many games to follow it, uh, Mr. X is something I'd like to call a stalker creature. He will chase you without remorse. This man is relentless, or creature is relentless, and he will destroy you if you let him. Now he drops something every time you defeat him, but I don't believe you have to defeat him. As you can see, we will not be going back out there. You do not have to defeat him. It's actually probably better to just run away from him, but I will kill him because I don't remember what he drops each time. I believe he drops something good if you kill him every time. That might be him or just might be Nemesis from 3. I'm not sure. Oh, I missed. That's not good. Run away, Claire. Oh, that's all right. Hit him. Hit 
hit him. Run. Now, Mr. X is a little harder to take on because he will clobber you in the face like, oh wow, he didn't do that much damage. I'm surprised. And yes, he does drop uh, handgun ammo this time around, so that's not that great. But, uh, I believe each time you kill him, he drops something different. So you will notice that I'm going to continuously be killing him. If you are playing this game along with me or just by yourself and you don't feel comfortable with your gaming game playing abilities or you just don't feel comfortable with Resident Evil controlling or anything like that, then I suggest running away from him. Uh, as I said, I don't remember 100% if he has anything special that he drops if you keep killing him, but I do know the items that he drops get better each time you kill him. So we will be doing that for the extra advantage. So now that I've done that, I will go ahead and save for my first, uh, save for the first time, just in case something happens, just to be safe. As well as leave the valve here, because we will once again not be needing that until we go into the sewer system. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave these grenade rounds here. I'll keep the grenade launcher for cases of Mr. X, uh, much like I did the shotgun with Leon. And I'll keep the, uh, handgun, obviously. And Alright, so we're good there. And as you can tell, Claire has her lockpick in place of Leon's... Not, I knew I forgot something. In the place of Leon's lighter. Uh, she will have to do the same puzzle he did with the uh, redstones. Uh, rubies, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so she will have to find a lighter, which is a little annoying. She will also have to do the, uh, the suits puzzle inside the development room. So, yes. Having that as an extra item will be uh, annoying, but uh, the lockpick is very helpful since we don't have to find the small keys, which would also take up space. Uh, though I don't believe Claire gets anything special out of the uh, the lock drawers and whatnot, much like Leon got the uh, the weapon upgrade pieces. She won't get anything like that. She doesn't get weapon upgrades. And actually, before I go ahead and forget. Uh, we can actually go ahead, and because we killed him uh, with Leon, or because we uh, made him appear with Leon, Brad Vickers will, ha will have appeared with Claire as well, so we can actually go outside and get the special key. And uh, Claire actually only has one costume, but it comes with a gun, so if you haven't watched my, my Let's Play with Leon, I explained how the gun is much faster and is a steady upgrade above the normal handgun. So we'll go ahead and get that. Um, he should be down here anyway. I hope he is. Yep. He is indeed down here. Now, normally I don't suggest using grenade on launcher ammo on zombies and whatnot, but I just want to take Brad out real fast, so we'll give him one quick acid round, take off his arm, and finish him off with the handgun. There we go. Less handgun ammo. Used one grenade launcher round. And we have the special key yet again. So with that, I believe I'm going to go ahead and take uh, the key I have now. And I don't remember if that liquor is still in that room after you've doused the flames, but my lucky probably will be, so we'll most likely be using the ray launcher ammo on him. We'll go ahead and go into that uh, art storage room of sorts, and I believe there's another, the blue key that uh, that Marvin, or yeah, Marvin would, ha would have given to Leon will also be in that room. Yet another inconsistency, but you know, there are going to be a lot of those, so I'm not going to keep pointing them out. The point is, that's where the blue key is, if I remember properly, and that'll allow us to unlock all the doors in the lobby again. So that's what we will go ahead and do. Now I'm going to take this out just to be safe. No, he is not in here. Alright, good. Jeez. I always forget about these things. The door is broken, we cannot go any further. Yes, she will actually, if you remember in Leon's story, we read about uh, a... Uh, a man who was found with C4, we will actually be finding the pieces of that C4 and using it to open that door. So we'll go ahead and we'll take the ink ribbon out of here, even though I probably shouldn't have done that. Because it's just a waste of room. And the blue card key. 
Hello, friend. Uh, yes. That is why he does not appear in the other room because he decides to come have fun with you in here. Luckily, I was easily to. I am surprised I am still not on caution. What is going on here? I may have been wrong about Claire having less health than Leon, because I'm still playing it on normal mode. I haven't decreased the difficulty at all, I promise you this. <laughs> so I am very, very, very surprised that, that she is still on fine. Leon would have been ruined by now. I am very confused as to what's going on. But anyway, we got a pretty good amount done here. I'm at, I'm at 25 minutes, so... I'm going to go ahead and save one last time. I probably should have waited up until now to save because this is now a second save. It's going to hurt my uh, score a little bit, but that's alright. We'll go ahead and save our game. And I will end it here. My name is Jay Tempest. This has been Resident Evil Evil 2 Dual Shock version. Scenario B, Claire. See you guys later. Bye!